Today, we're here to summarize a book named Failing Forward written by John C. Maxwell. In this book, Maxwell discusses inspirational stories of different people who didn't give up just because they failed once, twice, or even multiple times. So, without further ado, let's go through the chapter-wise summary of the book. 1. What is the main difference between people who achieve and ordinary people? In this chapter, Maxwell tells the story of Mary Kay Ash, who risked her life savings to launch her business, only to have tragedy strike. Instead, she conquered it and created a world-class company as a result. What's the secret? She possessed the one attribute that distinguished achievers from the rest of the population. 2. Get a new definition of failure and success. In this chapter, Maxwell writes about Samuel Truett Cathy, who knew what failure was and wasn't. The small restaurant he started south of Atlanta has turned into a multi-billion dollar business. 3. If you failed, are you a failure? Maxwell claims that achievers have seven attributes that prevent them from becoming failures in this chapter. He mentions Irma Bombeck and Daniel Ruettiger as examples of people who have these qualities. 4. You're too old to cry, but it hurts too much to laugh. The author explores how the Wright brothers should not have been the first to fly an airplane. But the man born to do it gave up before realizing his ambition. What caused the disparity between them? Yes, the original creator had enough of failing. 5. Find the exit off the failure freeway. What's worse than being caught in traffic at rush hour? Being stopped on the road to failure. You can't be like Rosie Ruiz if you want to be successful. You must develop the ability to locate the exit. 6. No matter what happens to you, failure is an inside job. His store was inundated by floodwaters, incurring $1 million in damage. Most people would have given up, but Greg Horn was not one of them because he was mature enough to accept failure and grow from it. 7. Is the past holding your life hostage? What would you do if a public monument commemorated your past failure? That happened to Arnold Palmer when he was at the height of his game. Maxwell talks about how he came back stronger and harder in this chapter. 8. Who is this person making these mistakes? John James Audubon was the greatest impediment to John James Audubon's career for 30 years. But as he transformed, his entire universe changed as well. 9. Get over yourself everyone else has. What advice did a renowned psychiatrist have for avoiding a nervous breakdown? It's the same thing that screenwriter Patrick Sheen Duncan did with Mr. Holland's opus. 10. Grasp the positive benefits of negative experiences. Did you know that adversity may be used to your advantage? That's what an unknown child did, and as a result, he became the second in command of the world's most powerful nation. 11. Take a risk, there's no other way to fail forward. The majority of people decide whether or not to take a risk based on their fear or the likelihood of success. Not Millie, though. She took the proper approach. Discover her risk-taking strategy. 12. Make failure your best friend. Why would Beckweathers describe something that cost him his nose, one arm, and the fingers on his remaining hand as positive? He knew how to turn failure into his closest buddy. 13. Avoid the top 10 reasons people fail. When it comes to enhancing your chances of success, where do you begin? Of course, with yourself. Dan Ryland did just that, and it altered his life. 14. The little difference between failure and success makes a big difference. He's a well-known figure. You've probably seen his photo on TV. He wasn't an actor, contrary to popular belief. You recognize him because he personified the fine line between failure and success. 15. It's what you do after you get back up that counts. Some argue that Lee Kuan Yew's name belongs beside Churchill, Roosevelt, and Reagan. What has he accomplished to merit such praise? He contributed to the failure of an entire country. 16. Now you're ready to fail forward. Dave Anderson said it was a miracle he never gave up after reading his own experience on paper. 
He's a regular guy who has become a millionaire thanks to his ability to fail forward. Here's his tale and the measures you need to take to fail forward and succeed. And that is it for today. So, that's all for the summary of the book Failure Forward. Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you next time. Thank you for sticking to the end. Please check out our audiobooks, such as Think and Grow Rich, The Richest Man in Babylon, and The Science of Getting Rich. These are classic books that should be read by anybody interested in building wealth or managing money properly. Links are provided below.